Howdy gang and welcome back to Pool School. In today's short but incredibly important lesson, I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to test for total chlorine and free chlorine in your pool. So what do you say we dive right in? Alrighty, before we get started, once again, I wanna thank you for watching this video. Remind you to like it if you do. Subscribe to my channel if you've not done so already, and please share my channel with everyone you know who owns a pool and is looking to save a ton of money taking care of them pool, their pool themselves. Also, please check out my exclusive membership website, poolschooler.com. I'll put it in the description below, and it's the next step in do-it-yourself pool maintenance. There's a bunch of great stuff there, plus it gives you more direct access to me because it's getting harder and harder for me to answer the emails that I get from this YouTube channel. So this, my uh, website gives you priority uh, communication with me and a whole bunch of things like checklists for weekly, monthly, seasonal, startup chemicals, chemicals, product links and everything. So it's a great deal. Check it out and that's all I'm gonna say about that. Okay, so. I am going to recommend what you use to test your pool chemistry most of the time, most all the time, is these. These are the AquaCheck 7 or AquaCheck Silver test strips and these are absolutely the ones that I recommend for your pool and for all your chemical testing needs, all right? The only thing this won't test for is salt and phosphates and you can get those tested. There's other things for that. I have a video on how to test your pool salinity if you have a salt system. Uh, you might want to check that out. I'll put a link to that in the video below this. I mean in the description below this video and then also phosphates and phosphates are something that you can test have tested for at a pool supply store but make sure that when you do that you specifically say when you bring your water sample in I just want you to test only for my phosphate levels. Okay. Alrighty. So we're going to use the AquaCheck 7 or AquaCheck Silver and the two things that we're going to test for again are total chlorine and free chlorine and if you notice on the back they are the second and third line all right so let's go to a pool and let's test for our chlorine Alrighty, I'm at one of my clients pools and just a quick reminder as far as frequency of testing for chlorine and pretty much for all your basic chemicals which includes chlorine pH and alkalinity okay if you are using a salt system or chlorine tablets, you can check your pool chemistry on a weekly basis. Once a week is fine, okay? In the off season, if your pool stays filled and you don't shut your pool down, you can get away with testing it every two weeks. But I tell people, if you've got a tablet, if you use chlorine tablets, or if you use a salt system, test your chemistry once a week, okay? And that's all. Now, if you're using granular chlorine or liquid chlorine, you're probably going to want to test your chemistry, at least the chlorine levels, every two to three days because that chlorine is going to dissipate quicker and evaporate quicker. So you're going to need to add it more frequently. So once again, if you're using tablets, chlorine tablets, or salt for your pool, chem for your pool chlorine needs or sanitizing needs, you can test it once a week, right? If you're using granular chlorine or liquid chlorine, you're going to want to test it more like two every two or three days. Okay? All right. Keep that in mind. Alrighty, so I'm at one of my client's pools and I haven't cleaned the pool. I haven't taken care of the pool yet, which is why there's leaves in the bottom of the pool. All right, but I'm going to show you how to test the chemistry of the pool. So again, I'm going to hold my test strip as it shows on the little diagram on the back. See where the thumb is and the rest of the strip. And I'm going to set this here so we can see what we're testing for. Right, and I'm going to dip my test strip in the water. I put it down about eight or ten inches down under the water. Pull it out. Don't shake it. Do not shake the strip. I'm going to hold it right up against these two sides. And you notice where my total chlorine is, that's the greenish colored one, and the purple one is the free chlorine. And if you notice, you wait about 15 to 20 seconds to get an accurate reading. But if you notice, my levels of chlorine are probably on the high side of, you can see it looks like it's about 10. All right. So in the summertime in Arizona, I actually keep my pool chlorine levels a bit high because we burn through chlorine really fast. And if somebody has a pool party, they're gonna, there's gonna be a greater demand for chlorine. So I keep them on the high side. That might be a little high, but we were having a little trouble with this pool, so I wanted to jack the chlorine up. But that's pretty much how simple it is to assess for your free chlorine, uh, your total chlorine and your free chlorine. It's that simple. And then you add accordingly. All right, so you might be asking me, well, how much do I add and how much tablets do I add and all that? I did a video 
on chlorine tablets and how much to add to your pool. I'm gonna put a, a link to that video in the description below this video so you can check it out. But that really is just how simple it is to test for the total chlorine and the free chlorine. And remember this, total chlorine is the total amount of chlorine in your pool, including the chlorine that's attached to the bacteria and the molecules, the uh, other dirty molecules to clean them out. Free chlorine is usable chlorine that hasn't attached to anything, and that's the stuff that's kind of floating around freely in your pool to kill off bacteria and things like that. So don't need to be a chemist to know that. You don't even need to know that. I just thought I'd throw that out there so you could have that information in case somebody asks. But again, that's my short video on how to test your pool chlorine using the AquaCheck 7 test strips, all righty? And again, if you want to find out where to get those, just go online, do a Google search or a search engine for... AquaCheck 7 test strips, and you'll find them all over the place, all right? So I want to thank you again for watching. Remind you, if you have any questions or comments, you can put them in the comment section below, or you can email them to me directly, and my email address is going to come across the bottom of the screen here. It's kennypoolschool at gmail.com. Once again, kennypoolschool at gmail.com. But remember, I get so many emails and comments especially during the summer months, that it is literally almost impossible for me to get back to them quickly. So it might take a while. If you want more direct access to me, what I call priority communication with me, check out my, my membership website, poolschooler.com. And again, that'll come across the screen too, poolschooler.com. And check out to see if this membership is something that's worth it to you. I hope you'll consider joining it. All right. So thanks again for watching. Remind you to like, subscribe, and share. And until we meet again, remember, have fun, be safe, and always, always, always watch those kids and elderly folk and pets around water. And I will see you next time. Take care.